cartel was on the line wanting to set the record straight. Five's cartel is many things. An incredibly prolific artist in the dance hall reggae genre who's managed to dominate the music scene despite being locked down. He's a charismatic entertainer whose nickname World Boss hints at the respect he's given on the streets. He's a champion of the poor and a convicted murderer who's claimed from day one he was framed. His talent, drive, intelligence, and wicked wit have never been in question. Now the only question is whether his last legal appeal to the highest court in the UK will determine he was convicted based on falsified phone evidence. A lot is on the line. He could be a free man by 2022 or an inmate for 30 or more years. It's enough to send anyone into depression, but not Vibes Cartel. I hope you're hearing, you're hearing me. Yes. Yes. As you look around the cell that you're in right now, can you describe for us what that looks like? You say you're in a better place mentally than physically. A lot of people would find that hard to believe. Yeah, because I, I was sick for a few years, so definitely I'm recovering physically, but mentally I've always been in a good place because I know I'm innocent and I know I'm coming out. Do you really believe that? Yeah, of course I believe that. And to be totally honest, the system really wanted me thrown away. It was never about me being charged for a murder. It was about getting rid of Vibes Cartel, not Adija Palmer, the person. Why do you say the system is out to get you? Because they told us. They say we have too much influence. If you remember when Movado and I had that little feud a few years ago, we even went to King's house, which is like the home of the prime minister. And they were telling us that, oh, we're leading the kids astray and if we don't stop what we're doing, we're not going to get any permission to do shows and stuff like that. So it has always been about the influence that Vice Cartel has. The dancehall music genre, like gangster rap, does not shy away from lyrics that talk about guns and street violence, as well as sexually explicit content. How do you keep your spirits up in prison? That's a good question. That's why I said I'm more mentally in a better place because I read a lot, I write a lot, you know, I watch movies, I listen to music, and I've met people here that are cool, like cool people that we can talk about stuff, you know, good friends along the way. So that's how I spend my time. You've had a lot of songs come out since you've been incarcerated. About how many songs have you written during this last decade that you've been behind bars? Lots of songs I can't even count. At one point, I was sending out like three, four books a month. Because when I write the songs, I usually send the books out when I get visits. Thousands of songs, really. And I know all of them are not going to be able to get released, maybe in, in my the span of my career. But, you know, I just keep writing and writing. It makes me better. Are you concerned that the conditions there are going to impact your health? I'm basically just thinking about going home now because everything is drawing to a close, so I'm not really worried about my health as much. I'm doing much better, you know, so it's all good. Cartel's attorney, Isop Buchanan, filed a fresh evidence appeal based on the findings of a British digital expert who found that his cell phone had been tampered with prior to his trial. It's expected to go before the Privy Council, second only to Queen Elizabeth in authority. Yes, God save the Queen, because she's the only one that can save me now. <laughs> Despite the twists and turns in his legal saga, Cartel refuses to give up. Coming up tomorrow night, part two of my exclusive jailhouse interview. Cartel gets candid, not holding back about how he really feels. It's a side of him you've never seen before. Looking forward to that. Other news and police.